Good afternoon. Today our topic is mass communication. Dear students, you know mass communication is a process in which a person, group of people or an organization sends a message through a channel of communication to a large group of anonymous and heterogeneous people and organizations. It includes broadcasting, television, radio, social media and print media. It is very easy to understand because we all use these things to communicate with others. Mobile is also a source of communication. Uh, it is importing or exchanging of information on a large scale to a wide range of people. So, the lesson is about a girl who is too much enthusiastic, who is having love of learning. She, all, she mostly spends her time in a library now let's come to our lesson. The first fera is Saroj was an intelligent girl. Intelligent is the adjective. Intelligent it is positive degree. Its comparator is more intelligent and uh, superlative is most intelligent. It is synonymous are bright. Equated, clever. So Seroj was an intelligent girl and hardworking. Hardworking. These were two qualities of uh, Seroj. Hardworking. Uh, its synonyms are diligent. Assiduous, etc. She was a, an intelligent and hardworking girl. She loved to read and never missed her colors. She had a lot of love with reading books and uh, gaining knowledge. She never missed her colors. She was always looking forward to reading about new things. She wanted to know. She was enthusiastic to know about uh, new things. In fact, she was a permanent fixture. Permanent fixture means here, She was an example. It is synonymous are it's synonyms permanent part, or we can say constant element. She was hallmark of the school to her friends and for the librarian. Librarian Bibliothecary Synonym Librarian is a person who takes care of library. Her friends used to tease her. Tease here has been used as verb to irritate her. They were teasing her by saying that you, you are the only girl who don't love holidays. And it was true. Her friends used to tease her that she was the only one who grew sad. Sad here is also an adjective. Sad, sadder, saddest. When school closed down, this was actually true. It was real because she loved school. She loved to learn because she had no library at her home. That's why she, wa she does not like that school will get closed. Sarah loved being at school. The reason why she grew sad when school was closed down for the holidays was that she could no longer to go to the library. She loved books. She had love of books. She was book, we can say, she was a bookworm. Her father was an auto rickshaw driver. But at the same time, we can say she was having sense of duty. She was a conscious girl. Well, as we know, an 
auto rickshaw driver how much he has to do efforts to uh, get uh, his uh, livelihood or to fulfill the needs of his or her wards he was a very hard worker too he drives from morning to evening auto rickshaw so that her only daughter could receive a good education seroj was uh, having all these points in uh, mind she never wanted to defame her father seroj not only wanted to make him proud she wanted to make her pro uh, father proud but she was actually in love with learning there were two reasons one she wanted to make her father proud of her and uh, the second reason is she was having love of learning all her teachers were proud of her she was hallmark of school and she was an inspiration inventiveness inspiration inventiveness inspiration means the ac action of power moving the intellectual or emotional a person of that makes someone want to do or create something she was an inspiration for all the students she was an example of that very school thank you